Hi guys, this is Real from Real News Forever and Sovereign News and Odyssey.com. O D Y S E E.com. The only reason this will be on YouTube is because it fits their narrative. The Ukraine counterattacks near Kharkov. Kharkov is on fire. Russian defenses broke. Ukrainians recaptured important areas. Russian strongholds in Izium and Kupyansk are in danger. A captured Russian lieutenant colonel, the Russians withdrew. So you see why, because the Ukrainians actually won a battle. The Russians continue to surprise by, to surprise by giving space for Ukrainian advance in Kharkov. Ukrainian forces recaptured a number of important areas. Ukrainians are playing it all for everything by now moving towards the two important strongholds of the Russians in the region, Izium and Kupyansk. The Russian army is now beginning to face a serious problem as its defensive formation west of Oskol has collapsed. Somehow it's collapsed. Black Lea is in operational encirclement and within the zone of fire of the Ukrainian artillery. Ukrainians, however, seem to bypass it and move towards Kupyansk, one of the most important junctions and strongholds of the Russians in the region. Ukrainian troops occupied the Tiskolovsky regions, Novogosorivka, Yakonevkovo, Bayrak, Semenivka, Kalyanivka, Taranushin, Krasnaya Gusarovka, Vachviyar, Volohivyar, and are now 45 kilometers from Kupyansk and 15 kilometers from Shevchenko. Shevchenko. Uh, anyway, I don't know all these languages. The Ukrainians have opened two fronts on the Russian army. In the Russian, this is Greek, so here we are. This is uh, one is 247.gr, which means Greek, and these guys are trying to actually turn this into English language from this. Anyway, one from Kurosawa and one from Kharkov, seeking to exploit the quantitative difference of forces in relation to the Russian side. The Russians cannot defend an extensive front line with so few troops, well as unknown why. The Russian Air Force was only activated today. The Ukrainian army took advantage of the situation and launched an attack on the weaker axis of the northeastern front where less experienced troops were located, thus breaking the Russian defense structure, according to these guys. The president of Ukraine, Zelensky, said a moment ago, this week we have good news from the Kharkov region. I thought it was Kharkiv, anyway, never mind. He had a video message, evidently. We have liberated many areas in Kharkov. Without specifying which areas he was referring to, he spoke of locations where the Ukrainian flag was returned. It's time to thank the heroes of the 25th Airborne Brigade, the 92nd Independent Mechanized Brigade, and the 80th Airborne Brigade. Here's a video of the captured Lieutenant Colonel of the Russians. And we got a whole lot of videos. You gotta go to War News 24-7.gr. The Greeks know what's going on. The Russian media admit that the armed forces of Ukraine occupied some areas near Balak Lea with the aim of cutting off communications of Russian and during the offensive, the armed forces of Ukraine, the AFU, occupied several settlements near Balakia. The units of the Allied forces apparently withdrew back to the city where it's easier to keep their positions. Previously, footage from the village of Baikar appeared, and now from Novaya Gusarovka, Ukrainians bypassed Balakia from the south with the aim of cutting off our communication. That obviously isn't going to work. Ukrainians have occupied our trenches. There are no corpses of the dead in them, which testifies that our forces retreated to the city. This is Russian. So the Russians already left that. And there's all these videos. You gotta go to uh, one is 247.gr to find all this. Anyway, I'm gonna put up some more videos.
The attack of the Ukrainians will soon be extinguished. The commander of the Vostok Battalion of the Donetsk Ministry of Internal Affairs, the former commander of the Donetsk Alpha, uh, a.k.a. Skip, ex assessed the situation in Kharkov. My sector has its own situation and requires decisions and actions, but all attention like yours is focused on those areas where the enemy is now demonstrating increased activity. Anyway, so this guy's got something else to say, but uh, somehow these uh, Scott Ritter, this guy, he asked this guy categorically, do you win or do you lose? Obviously, the Russians win. Come on. Get back to basics here. There's no way Ukraine can win with Nazis and, you know, oligarchs and billionaires. How are they going to freaking win? They cannot. I don't care how many tanks and how many guns they get. They're going to be destroyed because you started the war eight years ago and you're going to lose the war. Anyway, I, I would suggest everybody to go to uh, warnews247.gr because if you really want to see what's going on, here's all the, um, wow, look at the, oh wow, they look at their attack, see, you can see that right there. Wow, you know, the Russians are, are oh my god, look at that offensive happening. No, it's not going to do anything. These people are not going to quit. Hello? But anyway, I'll, I'll always go look at warnews.gr and warnews27.gr and go look at military summary because uh, Ukraine, oh, this these people trying to, they're going to infiltrate and finish the Russians, no, they're never going to stop, and Ukraine will lose, and that, that's just, that's just obvious military, uh, reality. Anyway, thank you all for watching. As many of you know, I have not made that many videos lately, in the last month. I finally had to get an actual job at Deseret Industries on 3000 Auburn Boulevard in, uh, Sacramento, of course takes a bit of time and no worries we're gonna keep putting out these videos but this is your weekly update on the Ukraine war they will not give me the name tag real but Thomas is just fine thank you all so we gotta put this video up and we're gonna put it up on YouTube because it's good news supposedly for the Ukrainians and it, it'll it'll fit their plan that's the only reason I, I yeah, and other than that, everything else is on uh, odysee.com, odyssey.com. It's real news forever. Sovereign news on both. But Sovereign News is the only one alive on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching.